today we shall see bubble sort let's take an example with five elements in an array and then we shall sort it out using bubble sort so n is equal to 5 that is the number of elements in an array let's take 15 0 minus 2 8 and 3 and the index starts from a of 0 in most of the programming languages we are seeing it in C language so we shall take from a of 0 so the number of iterations to complete the sorting in bubble sort will be one less than the number of elements in an array here we have five elements so the number of iterations are four we will take reference to it as j so the number of iterations are 4 j is equal to 1 2 3 4 now the first element a of 0 is compared with a of 1 here a of 0 that is 15 is greater than a of 1 value which is 0 so we just sort these values we will send 0 to a of 0 and 15 to a of 1. Now compare a of 1 with a of 2. That is compare 15 with minus 2. Again here 15 is greater than minus 2. So sort them send minus 2 to a of 1 position and 15 to a of 2 now select a of 2 and compare it with a of 3 here too 15 is greater than 8 so swap them now select a of 3 and compare it with a of 4 now 15 is greater than 3 so swap them again so at the end of first iteration we have the biggest in this array at the position a of a of 4 so this the bottom element that is 15 is sorted a of 4 contains the biggest of all the elements in an array now we leave this block that is a of 4 and only compare a of 0 with a of 1, a of 1 with a of 2, a of 2 with a of 3 in the next iteration. So for now first iteration is finished and we have biggest of all, biggest of the array elements inside a of 4 that is at the bottom of the array. Now the next iteration start from 0 select a of 0 again compare it with a of 1 now 0 is greater than minus 2 so sort them now select a of 1 and compare it with a of 2 0 is not greater than 8 so leave it as it is now compare a of 2 with a of 3 now 8 is greater than 3 so swap them now at the end of second iteration we have second greatest element at a of 3 so the block a of 3 got sorted now leave a of 3 and a of 4 just work out with a of 0 a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 now the third iteration starts select a of 0 and compare it with a of 1 minus 2 is not greater than 0 so leave it as it is now select a of 1 and compare it with a of 2 0 is not greater than 3 again so leave that as it is now a of 2 index is sorted now compare now the next iteration now select a of 0 and compare it with a of 1 Sorry, this is the wrong one. Now, 
compare a of 0 with a of 1 minus 2 is not greater than 0 so leave as it is now a of 1 is also sorted a of 0 Here is the also comparison sorted. is from a of 0 to a of 1 a of 1 to a of 2 a of 2 to a of 3 a of 3 to a of 4 let's see how to do it in C program first let me take an array of size 5 and as let me assign values directly here I'll take 13 0 I'll take 15 biggest number 0 minus 2 8 and 3 I'll take i and j for looping purpose and a temporary variable for swapping let me display array elements first i starts from 0 and continues till i is less than 5 because we have 4 elements 0 I mean we have 5 elements 0 through 4 uh, in the first line I have wrongly taken here it must be a of 5 not a of 4 let me fix that first so we have taken 5 elements 15 0 minus 2 8 and 3 now let me display it 15 0 minus 2 8 and 3 it's in unsorted order our job is to sort it using bubble sort technique okay let's directly start here with the for loop let j start from 3 because we need to leave the last element and the index starts from 0 so if we take n we must take j is equal to n minus 2 for 5 elements we have taken 3 which is 5 minus 2 is 3 so for n elements we must start this for loop from j is equal to n minus 2 and continue till j is greater than or equal to 0 now the inner loop starts from 0 and continues till i is less than or equal to the outer loop value that is j value if a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 the next element the element in the next index that is comparing a of 0 with a of 1 a of 1 with a of 2 a of 2 with a of 3 a of 3 with a of 4 if if a of 0 is greater than a of 1 we need to swap it we do it inside this if condition a of i is greater than if a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 we swap it after this for loop is complete the array will be sorted out so I'll just display the array elements which is in sorted order ok fifteen zero minus two eight and three minus two zero three eight and fifteen yes it is sorted for n elements let me modify the program 
I'll take int e of 20 and remove this and I'll ask the size of the array from the user itself and store the size of the array inside another variable called n now the loop uh, let me not modify this sentence here array elements are before that I'll take take input from the user enter percentage d elements comma n loop should, should start from 0 and continue till i less than n percent e of i now let me modify this loop i less than n and j is equal to n minus 2 ok let's see see the output now let's take array size as 10 into 10 elements I'll give 0 oh, start from 1 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 0 so after sorting ok we haven't modified the display array here that is after sorting now everything would work fine I'll give 10 again start from 0 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 sorted after sorting 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Okay, let's compile it one more time and run it. I'll give 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 13, 12, 11. After sorting 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. That's it. This is bubble sort for n input are a n number of elements please practice this and share this video with your friends and like it on youtube thanks for watching